Welcome to the debrief for the KPMG Australia Sail Grand Prix. What a weekend it was. Congratulations to the Australian team for stealing the win on home waters. My predictions weren't too far off. I had the Kiwis and Aussies in that final, but the Danish snuck in there. They had an amazing weekend as well. I know they're disappointed with not getting that win, but fantastic show of their skill. I'm going to wander around the tech site now and see how everyone found the weekend here in Sydney. Congratulations, Tash. What an amazing time to win on home waters. And it was your first win as well um, here in Sydney. Yeah, oh, it was such an exciting day and I was really, really hoping we could pull it off and now it's just relief and can't wait to see all my family and friends. I know you would have loved to lead from start to finish, but you made it a pretty cool final for everybody to watch. Yeah, it was definitely a really tight one. I remember looking back on the way to the finish line on the reach, seeing the Danes right there and the Kiwis already around the last mark. So it was one of the tighter finals I've been in. And it's been a while since we've we've had Breeze. Obviously, yesterday was chaotic, today was beautiful. Um, did you enjoy racing the F50 like this? Oh, it's the best thing ever. I love racing these boats in Breeze. It's just been a shame we've had so much light air, but yeah, can't wait for more wind. And winning on home waters, but how much better would it feel to uh, win on Kiwi waters in the next event? Oh yeah, we're all talking about it. We can't wait to take it to the Kiwis next event. It'll be really fun and yeah, bring it on. Thanks, Tash. We'll see you at Crash Church. Thanks, Lise. Well, I spotted the Kiwis just coming out of debrief. I know they're not going to be happy with third, but let's actually see how they feel about how today went. So, so what does the coach reckon? How was the performance I'm today? Coach, strategist, mate. Strategist, strategist. How was the strategist? Strategist. I don't know what I am in the booth anyway. Yeah, well, I mean, it's a coaching role. <laughs> um, when did this interview start? It started. Oh right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how do you think the team went? Well, I think we had a great week. It was awesome to get Nathan involved with us, and um, you know, he's got some different skills to to Pistol Pete and. Yes, I'm good, so it was really cool to have a great week. I can't actually see you properly with these sunnies on, so I'm going to take them off, but um, they're, 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 they're great shades. Thank you for donating them for this interview. Um, obviously, that, that start was pretty incredible. You guys almost had a clean shot, and then, and then they were over the line. Yeah, it was like sort of who wanted the start, really, and we had it, we had it gifted to us, but um, just didn't quite execute. But, you know, these races come down to a matter of seconds, so and that was just one of them. And you've transitioned from on the water to in the booth. Maybe talk us through um, uh, what, is, what is it like to watch the racing on an, on an app and on television like everyone else? Yeah, well, we get to watch it like everyone else and we use the umpire app, which is very much a bird's eye view. Um, so it's quite a different perspective to on the boat and you can give a lot of really cool information. But it, you do feel quite removed at times when you're in a container <laughs> staring at a computer screen. But Christchurch, up next, how fired up for the, are the team to, to have a good event there? Yeah, hometown. We always like to do well there. Um, be amazing location. And we're just, yeah, we're excited to keep chipping away and try and win a few more events. Perfect. Well, thanks for the shades and I'll see you in New Zealand. Yeah, bloody good. It was an outstanding performance by the Danish all weekend, but that win evaded them once again. I know second is a great result, but they were disappointed with it. Once they finish craning, I'll grab one of the sailors and see how they feel. Well, Catch, I know you guys really wanted the event win, but it was a pretty epic final to watch. Um, how are you feeling about second? Uh, it's 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 a second you gotta swallow, but uh, we did, yeah, we've done good all weekend, and we're so close. So uh, it feels good to be able to push both the, the Kiwis and the Aussies, and uh, yeah, we're not ready to win this time, but but definitely we will get it. We had everybody on the edge of their seats that last turning game. You almost got the Aussies one boat length almost. Yeah, I know, and we're already sitting in there talking like where could we have gotten those two meters, but yeah, sometimes you just. You just don't. And how do you think the team's performing? Obviously, you're third overall in the championship. That's where you want to be. You need to be in that final in San Fran. Yeah, exactly. We uh, we needed a good result here. We uh, we've had a tough time in both Dubai and Abu Dhabi. So turning this around, it's uh, that's everything for us. And and now we just feel eager to go to uh, New Zealand and do it all again. Yeah. Perfect. Well, well, we'll let you pack up before it gets too dark, and uh, we'll see you soon. Thank you. Well, we spoke to the first three teams, but another really cool story coming out of this weekend is the German team. They got their first race win. So I'm in their tent. I'm going to sneak around the corner and see if I can grab one of their sailors and see how that win really felt. Race win today. How good did that feel? Uh, that was awesome. It was uh, always slightly stressful when you're the flight controller and you're not sure what position you're actually in, but uh, we kept the train on the tracks and it was nice. Now you're sailing for the German team, but it is an Aussie accent and you had your family there cheering you on as well. Yeah, it's just unreal when Sydney's uh, sun out, northeast wind, and the family's here and uh, comes together with a win. It's unreal. So, one of the best days you can get. Learning curve's pretty steep for the team. But how's you've sailed with a lot of teams? How do you think they're tracking? 
I think, yeah, learning curve's super steep, which is what we're after. And um, to get a, a win in decent breeze and really hold our own at the front was great. You know, we didn't want it to be in like really light, variable conditions. I think, you know, we have decent speed and it was nice to know that we can hang on to it if we get to mark one in first. And you had a bit of a crew change up. Felix, it's normally a bit of a shore crew, is it was chucked on the boat today. How'd he go? Yep, Felix has been uh, bulking for a couple months and getting ready for his big day and he did really well. So um, it's been a great weekend with him and uh, yeah, good to have him in the G1 role. And confidence is building for the team. I imagine that's so important on a, on a 10 boat racetrack like that. Moving forward, it must feel pretty good. Yeah, I mean, Eric's super chill on the wheel, which is great. And uh, yeah, his confidence is building every day. And, you know, it's just time on the water and we're catching up and we're going to catch up fast. So, yeah, looking forward to Christchurch. See you then. Let's take a look how that affects the season for Championship. Australia lead ahead of New Zealand in second. Rockwell, Denmark, they move back up to third. They are on 52 points ahead of Spain on 48. Then we have France, Emirates, Great Britain and USA in the middle. Canada after a tough event, they are in eighth. Germany is ninth and Switzerland finishes off in tenth. Well, that's it for the debrief for the KPMG Australia Sail Grand Prix. It was so exciting to see F50 racing at its finest. Congratulations to Australia. But what a final it was. I cannot wait for the next event in just a month's time in New Zealand.